welcome back to another vlog. It's a Tuesday here and I've been vlogging a lot lately. So the only day that you've missed actually is yesterday, which is Monday. But I was just busy working from home yesterday and then we also did a food haul, which I am really excited about. We did a massive, massive food haul because we've decided we're not gonna go out for food this week. We're just gonna eat as healthy as possible in the house, which is really good. And all this healthy eating has actually made me break out. I think <laughs> I'm getting rid of all the crap from my body. So this morning I just got up and I washed my hair. That's why it's fuzzy because it's still kind of wet. And I got dressed, did my makeup. I made the best mango oatmeal ever. Mango, frozen mango in oatmeal is really, really good. I don't really cook it in. I add it in while it's still hot and then it just tastes really nice. Um, and today I have lots of work to do, but I'm also going to meet my friend Meg at Bramables at 3.30 and it's about a half an hour walk. So I'm only actually working until three and then I'm taking a couple hours off, which is fun. I really like that. And it's about 30 degrees today. So I think it's good that I'm getting out of the house because yesterday I didn't get out of the house until nighttime and I didn't experience the lovely weather. Um, so yeah, I'm just making myself a cup of tea. I'm actually uh, doing some freelance work this morning just because I need to get money in. And I actually have a weekly plan right now. I'm gonna show you guys. Why I use a weekly plan is because I work from home. So I really have to motivate myself to do everything because there's no one there telling me, like you need to do work. Like I literally could just sit and do nothing and no one would say anything. Uh, apart from maybe my landlord when I didn't pay my rent. But even if you have like a standard job where you're working for someone else and you're not a freelancer, I do think it's important to have like a weekly plan or a to-do list um, because it just like relieves so much stress whenever you can just see what you wanna accomplish in that day. And I also think it makes you accomplish more because you think about what you wanna do and then you just get it done. So I'm gonna show you mine. So when I was writing this, I didn't really think that you guys would be reading it. That's why it's really messy. So yesterday I just did three hours of work, edited two videos. I just wrote that because I've been trying to motivate myself to put Instagram posts up. Um, we did a food shop and I did a little yoga and no ebook. So a theme here is that I do three things at the moment, which is freelance work, YouTube and ebook. So I'm trying to make sure that I only focus on two things a day so that I don't go absolutely nuts. So today I have decided three or four hours of freelance. I'm actually gonna hope to get more than that done. I'm gonna film this video that I'm filming right now. I need to edit the vlog from Sunday because I didn't edit that yet. And then I need to meet Meg and yeah, do more freelance if possible and don't do any ebook. So I haven't done any ebook these two days, but then these days, there's like no freelance, so I can do as much ebook as possible. And then this one's no YouTube, so I can do stuff. So yeah, that's how I organize my week. And I just find that really, really helpful to have it all written out like that, because I do get really overwhelmed if I don't have a to-do list, because I just sit there and I'm like, I need to do my ebook, I need to do my freelance work, I need to meet my friend, I need to go shopping, I need to clean the house, I have all these things, and I'm just like, when am I gonna do these things? You know what I mean? But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the food haul we got yesterday. Um, the fridge isn't the best part, but I do want to give a shout out to uh, one of you lovely subscribers who told me that sweet potatoes were gonna be on offer in Riva this week. They are $1.99 per kilo, that's so cheap. So yeah, because of that, I'm gonna be having sweet potato for dinner every day this week. So I have lots of sweet potatoes, normal potatoes. Um, then this is Jamie's pesto pasta. He actually made this for lunch tomorrow. He made a big batch last night and he has the other half with him today. So this is like vegan pesto with little tomatoes cut up. Very interesting. We have some tofu. I love this and tofu stir fries. Jamie also loves tofu scramble. Back here we just have some uh, organic carrots, mushrooms, a couple of vanilla soy yogurts because Jamie eats those for breakfast with muesli. This is some leftover baked beans that I didn't use yet. Uh, we have a few bell peppers, a couple of iceberg lettuces, a courgette leftover from last week and some more tomatoes. And up here is just like peas, vegan nuggets, frozen mango, lots and lots of stuff. Then I also got some bananas because we haven't had them in ages and I really want to start making smoothie bowls. And in here we just have nothing really interesting but we do have the biggest bag of apples ever. Like guys, look how big this one is. Whoa, 
look at that <laughs> and then the last section is my cupboard and we have absolutely loads and loads of food in here i hope you guys find this like inspirational for what you can go and buy um, so we have some polenta which we bought ages ago and we didn't get around to using yet So I've moved to the front of the cupboard. We also have some whole wheat noodley pasta and rice falafel mix rice noodles Buckwheat that's just like brown buckwheat and um, there's more pasta pack there There's loads and loads of oats and brown sugar and then down here we have loads of kidney beans, we have some lentils, we have some soy mints, we have tahini, different herbs and tomatoes and garlic and sweet corn and stock and sushi rice. I don't know, loads and loads of stuff. Oh, and then up here Jamie's hidden our milk. We're just using this Alpro one because it's on special offer this week. Um, Oat milk's our favorite. So it's actually amazing to have so many options. I'm really happy about that. It just makes it so much easier to eat healthy. You might have seen my previous videos where I'm saying, I said I'm trying to get back into eating healthier again just because I was letting stress take over. But anyway, I'm gonna drink my cup of tea now and I'm gonna get stuck into some freelance work and I'm actually listening to TED Talks while doing freelance because I find that really inspirational and I haven't done it in a while. Lately I've just been watching Netflix in the background and I really don't think that's doing me any favors because I'm not learning anything from it. And um, so TED Talks are amazing, like so, so good. I'm actually watching one about stress right now. It's called Kelly McGonagall, How to Make Stress Your Friend. So that's interesting because it relates to my life right now because I get stressed so much. <laughs> And one thing we know for certain is that chasing meaning is better for your health than trying to avoid discomfort. And so I would say that's really the best way to make decisions is go after what it is that creates meaning in your life and then trust yourself to handle the stress that follows. I'm feeling so inspired from watching all these TED Talks. Like, I feel like a lot of people, they get really annoyed when they're not being productive enough. I was doing that recently, but for the most part, I know that that's really not a good way to treat yourself and it's good to just take things easy and recognize that you're human and you don't have to be like on full speed all the time it's just not attainable it's not achievable um and so i know a lot of people would say <laughs> you know i've only got like an hour of freelance work done and it's already one o'clock my day is going terribly but for me i think my day is going amazingly because the amount of education that I'm getting this morning from these TED Talks is unbelievable. I mean, you think you know a lot of stuff and then you listen to the way that other people think about things and you hear other people's stories and it really just changes so much about what you think and it inspires you to work harder on what you're working on. And that's why I think there's no such thing as wasting time. Even whenever I'm watching Netflix and stuff sometimes, I get inspiration from that, that and I get like inspired to like make my vlogs look better and stuff like that. Like I really think there's no such thing as wasting time at all. I think everything that we do has something amazing that you can take from it. Um, and so I really would encourage you to watch TED Talks or just to watch anything that relates to the field that you want to work in. TED Talks are amazing because they relate to like absolutely everything like everyone can watch TED Talks because there's a TED Talk about everything um, and whenever I watch them it makes me just more inspired uh, to write my ebook to talk about things on my YouTube channel it just like sparks little inspiration in my head little thoughts of magic I'm on my way to meet Meg and I am on fire right now. It's so warm out here. Ugh. I have to walk through the market. It's market day, so it's gonna be super busy walking through here. But then I'm gonna get myself a juice or a smoothie or something because I'm so dehydrated. After 30 minutes of walking, I'm dehydrated. <laughs> I walk on the going when I feel the worst season. Let's have my mother, then I will come back. I've ordered a coconut and berry smoothie. And Meg got, uh, you got the 
peanut butter and banana one, didn't you? And this, which is like um, I think it's matcha. Matcha and edible flowers. Yeah. It looks pretty. It does look pretty. <laughs> this smoothies have arrived. Yours doesn't look too like chocolatey, to be honest. I think it might be really nice. I ordered this one because I want a really fresh one because it's so hot outside. I'm gonna do the taste test. Oh, mine's really, really nice. Yeah. Tastes more like coconut than berries, I think. So I just got in the door. I actually got the bus home because I really was way too warm. Um, and it's about half five now and I'm just gonna do some more work. I think I'll actually record a sit down video um, because I haven't done one of those in a while and I have some ideas of stuff that I wanna do. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I've got editing to do and more freelance work to do. And then Jamie will be home. And I cannot stress how warm I am. It is so, so hot. I just finished filming my video which is actually the travel video so if you're watching this and you're watching that then that's a little bit of inside scoop for you but um as soon as I finished that I got a shower because I honestly can't even cope anymore like see whenever I have like the tiniest bit of warmth on my body or the tiniest bit of sweat like I have to shower I mean I showered this morning and only went out for like two hours three hours and then I came back and I'm like I need to shower like immediately, like I just hate feeling gross and now I feel so much better. Now I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I'm gonna have some sweet potato and also a big chickpea salad. So it's gonna be loads and loads of food, but I'm really excited about that. I think I might need a bigger bowl. <laughs> this is my favorite meal ever and it's so, so easy. I'm so healthy, Oh. Uh... I'm gonna tuck into this. I'm so happy that I have my favorite meal. Finally home from work and I am probably gonna make some food. But I've done something super smart and I've actually prepared my lunch for tomorrow. I've got like some fancy pesto pasta. I should totally show this one off. I did show them. Hey, it looks all weird because it's in a box. Ha 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 ha. You showed them earlier. Mm -hmm. What are you doing showing off my pasta? Because I was giving a fridge tour. Mmm, fair enough. I'll allow it. So my day was very good. It wasn't as good as Colette's because I didn't get to go for donuts. I didn't get a donut either. What? Why'd you not get a donut? What'd you get? Because I'm happy. I got a smoothie. I would have definitely got a donut. I think you're I mean, you're totally doing that wrong. Like, you're wasting your time on brambles. Like, I know, donut. especially because my neighbor's going to pay for it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't get any donuts or any smoothies today. It was very sad. All I got was coffee. And also I got to sit in the office today and be very, very hot. It's hot. It's like 30 degrees today still in Berlin. Are you feeling hot, Claire? No, because I had a shower. Boo! But you didn't feel hot at all today? Yeah, it is. Oh, makes sense. I did feel hot, but now I'm not as hot because I had a shower, unlike you, stinky sweaty boy. Yeah, but at the same time, like, I mean, I just got home, I mean, I want to relax and stuff. And it seems more you relaxing to just sit minutes. here. Eh, yeah, yeah, it's not long enough. I mean, I like the idea of just sitting here and relaxing in my own sweat for a little while. Living the dream. Hmm. I'm going to make stir fry. Do you want stir fry? Fine. I'm going to make my own stir fry. See you later, friends. You having fun ripping those noodles apart there? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> Jamie's making himself some glass noodles. There's no way to do this without making a horrible mess. Are you using up all the boiling water? I boiled that for a cup of tea. I haven't actually used any of your boiling water. Oh. So. Ooh, look at this fancy stir fry Jamie's making. I'm making myself a cup of. Mmm. Gosh, you're making an awful lot of noise there, Squidge. Yeah, I'm putting these back in the bag. And also all over the floor. Oh, that's true. I just stood in one. You did it last time you made these though as well. It's impossible. Yeah, it's hard not to. So I actually got three hours of freelance done. I filmed a video. Actually filmed two videos. 
Uh, I haven't edited yet and I've done this one and I haven't done this one. So I'm gonna edit this video and then maybe do some more work. But it is already like 8 p.m. So I feel like that's been a wee bit optimistic, especially because I feel so tired and I really am craving sugar. Like, I don't really know. I don't think I ate enough today or yesterday maybe. And now I'm like, I need biscuits, but I'm gonna persevere because I'm being healthy and I need to clear up this skin. Like, this is terrible. Like. It's like being Rudolph, except on my chin. It's all gonna be worth it, holding back on the sugar. Anyway, guys, uh, it's already 8 p.m. now, so I'm gonna go. Jamie, do you wanna say goodbye? Stop doing that, it's really nasty to mock my spot. It's because you said Rudolph, it's not mocking you, I promise. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, everyone. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for the next one. Make sure to subscribe, share our videos with your friends. Thumbs up if I'm your favorite character. Bye! <laughs> Bye guys!